So, uh, end of the show yesterday, we had to end with some tragic news from entertainment. Oh. Yeah. We had like 30 seconds to talk about it. We have to start today's gathering with the three of us the same way, because we need to talk about this more. Dee, we'll take it away. Hey, good morning, everybody. And yeah, we ended with very sad news on the world of entertainment, as you mentioned. Twitch, Stephen Boss, who we know as Twitch, of course, a DJ, dancer, TV host. Uh, he was a part of Ellen's show for a long time. Oh, yeah. uh, and everyone describes him as love and light. When you went through any social media yesterday describing this gentleman right here, the word light came up almost every time. Uh, dead at the age of 40, died by suicide. We found this out again at the end of the show yesterday. Uh, so some of the details behind this, uh, we'll get to in a quick second here, but he had three children with his wife, Allison Holker, boss, uh, Zaya, who's three, Maddox, six, and Wesley, who's 14. On TikTok, here's the other thing. His presence on social media, on TikTok especially, Rich. Uh, knew no genre or age, True. had no border to it. You know what I mean? There's a lot of people who are in a certain world, so some people know him, other people won't. If you've got kids, they know who this gentleman is because they wanted to emulate some of the dances that him and his family would do. They were pure family fun and entertainment for a lot of people, and there was a big, bright smile on his face all the time. Right? His wife, Allison, shared a statement because they just celebrated their ninth wedding anniversary four days ago. She said, it's with the heaviest of hearts that I have to share. My husband, Stephen, has left us. Stephen lit up every room he stepped into. He valued family, friends, and community above all else. And leading with love and light was everything to him. He was the backbone of our family, the best husband and father, and inspiration to his fans. To say he left a legacy would be an understatement, and his positive impact will continue to be felt. I'm certain there won't be a day that goes by that we won't honor his memory. Stephen, we love you, we miss you, and I will always save the last dance for you. Breaking. So the circumstances around this, uh, Allison went into a police station Tuesday morning, um, very worried about her husband, saying that he left. There was no argument. There was no issues. He left in, in, a, in a way that was not normal for him. And then she was trying to communicate with him. No communication whatsoever. Uh, what we do know is that he was found at a nearby motel, less than a mile away from his home. Uh, dead by suicide, it was a, a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Um, now, people at the motel said he checked in Monday morning with a small bag, and there didn't seem visibly upset, didn't seem that was anything was off. Uh, he was found the next morning when he missed his checkout time, uh, and that's when Allison had gone to the LAPD, that was Tuesday morning, and they'd actually gone back to her home as well, and they were looking to list him as a critical missing persons, but they had gotten that phone call. Uh, 911 call from the motel saying that they had found him. So those are the details surrounding that, but the outpouring yes. of support and love. Your favorite celebrity loved this guy so much, and, and you just can't go anywhere on social media without some of that coming through. Because he was pure joy. We experienced mm -hmm. it on the show just over a year ago, and that's what he was known for. For Ellen, as up as she is, she needed that hype man and he was that and everybody loved him to to your point whether you're eight or 98 he was just that good caring loving light his dance was how he expressed himself and nobody ever knows what anyone's going through we were all shocked and we kept saying no it can't be no it can't be this has to be it can't be true he's one of those people even if you've only seen bits and pieces mm -hmm. he has a profound effect on you and it shows in the outpouring of grief and, and support for allison the three kids he leaves behind how do you even go on they're asking for privacy at this yeah. time and you can't even imagine what someone's going through when they're always putting forward such love, joy, and light. And this is a reminder to reach out for help if you're that person or you think you see somebody who might be going through something. There's always a way out. If you feel like you can't get out of it, there's some numbers right there right now. Because I know somebody mm -hmm. who took their own life, and he was known for being that in the newsroom. He was the most pleasant, bringing you up. How you doing, Sid? How you doing, Dee? Ready to have mm -hmm. a good day today? Ready to have a good show? You, you have to check in, like you said, with sometimes sure. the happiest ones. It is... Um he, his stuff on you, so you think you can dance, is some of the best television I've ever seen. Yeah. I encourage anyone to go on YouTube and watch his performances, especially younger. Well, he changed like, that he, show. He changed the show completely. Yeah. He is one of the most talented people I've ever seen. But finally, to your point, mm -hmm. depression tricks happy people into thinking they are alone. Mm -hmm. That's the devil of so. their details. No one can connect these dots. No one. The TikTok stuff is unbelievable to watch yeah. back. This was a happy man, it, see, it, seemed, it seemed, was a happy man. And those phone numbers we ran you, it's 
no one, to your point, we say it a million times, no one knows a thing. No one knows a thing about what someone's actually going through. If you need to talk to anybody, please talk.